vlog with, with the intention of it being a few days in my life but I kind of want to focus it around wellness and things that I'm doing to help me wellness wise because if you guys follow me on TikTok you would know that I have anxiety and for the last two weeks I think my anxiety has just been pretty bad and I've always had very situational anxiety what is that um meaning that I I get anxious about things and I feel like I can decently control it. I've never been on medications and right now I don't feel like that's necessary, but I'm looking for alternative things to do um, before that would happen. So anyway, um, a few of the things that I have dedicated to myself are things that I kind of want to like show you guys throughout this vlog and take you guys, you know, this always happens but anyway take you guys along and um, show you what I've been doing one of the things that I've been doing that I think has been helping the most is um, putting my phone away in the evening at around like 9 9 30 putting my phone down and like not touching it again and I want to start enacting not touching it in the morning but I do use it as an alarm clock so it is harder um, but anyway I am Ice rolling in the morning is also something that I feel like is just like a little wellness thing that I do. It de definitely doesn't help my anxiety, but it's just nice to like be like, oh, I do this for myself. I'm on my way to work. We have a morning meeting today, but I just wanted to show you guys. I've been using this product called Copacom probably since April or May now, and it is more helps with like short term anxiety I guess not really because the ingredients are like long acting but anyway it's called Copacalm I do I we sell it at work that's where I buy it um but I have linked it on my Amazon as well and it has L-theanine and GABA which are two products that I do recommend for patients who do not want to go the medication route to control anxiety um L-theanine is really great for anxiety so I usually take um, two dropperfuls of these twice a day one before my morning patients and one before my afternoon patients and I can definitely tell that it feels like it lowers my cortisol levels essentially not actually like I don't know if it actually is but it, it does definitely like level my anxiety at that time um, now have I seen a huge difference in my anxiety like over week periods no but like when I need something when I need to grab something because I'm like I just my anxiety is ah, this does help me so um, I'm not gonna take them right now because we I'm not seeing patients like for another hour and a half so I'm gonna take it when I head over to the other office after our morning meeting but um, I just wanted to show you guys one of my tools in my toolboxes to help manage my anxiety I just wrapped up my morning patients this is my lunch today it's just a little bit of like a leftover taco bowl we had tacos last night because it was you know taco Tuesday so this is like my favorite post like I don't know this is my favorite meal that I have and I usually have it once a week and it's pretty early I think it's only like 11:49, and I'm gonna go to the gym because I wrapped up my morning patients early. I survived my afternoon. I literally saw five patients in the span of an hour. Like everybody showed up. My both my pap smears that were booked at the same time, but I was just like I had a student with me, and I was like, sorry, I I can't let you do it. I just like have to keep going. And she was great. She understood. Um, but that is just how things work sometimes and it was annoying but I ended my day at like 4 30 I left work kind of early it is now 5 10 and I actually just ran into Sephora because I needed a few restocks and um, I wanted to make a few new purchases and honestly when I restock on something it means that I'm actually obsessed with it because I feel like I'm never super loyal to one thing um but some of these products i am like like very very loyal to the first one that i am loyal to because it smells so good is the um i don't know how to dull de, dull, sol de janeiro brazilian crush perfume i 
don't I didn't wear perfume before I got this and this literally smells like warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works if you remember that was like an OG <laughs> scent from Bath and Body Works and my mom used to get it for me every Christmas and this smells like that but better. I use it every morning. I'm obsessed with it. I also need a restock of my Always an Optimist. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um primer that I use from Rare Beauty. I just use it to like set my makeup in the morning. I really like it. It's not super sticky or anything. I also, I already took it out of the packaging because I need to put it in my car. 2014, Paul and Connie once again went back. Sorry. <laughs> um, these Touchland hand sanitizers are so overpriced, but the way that I never use hand sanitizer, like which is terrible to admit, but before these is actually awful. And um, I don't know exactly if this literally should be considered hand sanitizer because the first ingredient is water and the second ingredient is fragrance. I don't actually see any alcohol in here, um, which would, am I getting punked? Okay, why did I look at the ingredients before I bought this? Oh, it says active ingredients, ethyl alcohol. Okay, so it does have alcohol in it, which is what sanitizes. Okay, now I don't feel like an idiot. Okay, so I keep that in my car and I used up my other one, so I felt like a restock was necessary and I really like it. And then the last thing that I got um, was a, I already opened it as well, a Summer Fridays lip balm. I used to have one of these in my car, um, but I lost it, which is bad. But I just got it in the color vanilla because I don't really like my lips to be any particular color. So I just like to have a gloss sometimes, you know. But anyway, that's what I got from Sephora. And now I'm actually headed to Target because I need dry shampoo. And I have a candle that I've been burning from Target for the last couple of weeks that I've been like hyper obsessed with. And I'm feeling like I might want to get another one because I'm going to be coming up on the end of this one soon. I don't know. I also could regret going to Target at this time of day just because I feel like it would be kind of crazy, but I'm in a really good mood and I've been, because we're in the spirit of wellness, I have been trying to do things after work. I am just never been the type of person who feels like I can do things after work except for go home. Um, and it's hard with dogs and with feeling like I need to keep my house clean and all of that stuff. But if my whole life is going to my job and then staying in my house I'm not going to be happy and I only do fun things on the weekends that's not happiness that doesn't bring me joy so I am learning to get more comfortable with doing having fun on weekdays so this is a part of my wellness for sure I just got home but something that I am really working on is meditating again I used to meditate daily for let me put this up somewhere um i meditated daily for literally probably a year straight in i think 2018 into 2019 and it was one of the best things i ever did for my mental health yeah it was like the end of 2018 beginning of 2019 it was the year that i went from Oh, it's this, okay. It was the year that I went from working inpatient as a nurse to working outpatient, and it literally changed my life. Um, I felt like I had such a fresh perspective on things. I was like very mentally clear, and so I have continued to carry that practice periodically throughout my, throughout my life, and I always find that when I'm meditating, I feel better, but I always, have that internal voice that I think we all have that is like wants to just keep pushing it off like oh I'll do it tomorrow or like oh I I want to read this book or I want to watch this episode of a tv show and so <laughs> this week I was like listen I'm gonna meditate every single day this week see how I feel and we will kind of go from there but the plan is to like just continue to meditate because it is literally life-changing so I use the Calm app. It's the app that I used in 2018, 2019. I really love it. I've also used Headspace before, which I also enjoy. Those are the two that I've used and the two that I like really, really enjoy. Now, I did just play with my dogs outside and they are panting and that is distracting. <laughs> 
Um, but I'm hoping they'll just sit down for a second so I can meditate and then we're gonna make dinner. I need to show you guys what I got at Target as well, but yeah. And then I just do like the daily calm with Tamara Levitt. Her voice is literally like butter. It's amazing. <laughs> I am making a summer pasta recipe, which I will show you guys how I make. It's super good and very quick and easy. First on the docket is obviously making the pasta. <laughs> so for the summer pasta, I'm gonna use zucchini, arugula, I'm about to pour myself a poppy, and I'm having a little snack of pretzels because I'm super hungry. Um, I do not have many of these, and my husband does not like tomatoes or onions, so I'm gonna saute these in a separate pan and then add them afterwards, and then you will need Kalamata olives and green olives. I feel like that's it. Um, oh, lemon. I usually use two lemons and then um, olive oil and some type of cheese. I use like a vegan Parmesan cheese, but you can use whatever type of cheese. And you literally just put your ingredients like this in a bowl, saute it up with some lemon and olive oil, and add it to the pasta super easy. I haven't had a poppy in several days. Dog pop is my favorite. It is literally incredible. Um, I don't mean to be dramatic, but this actually changed my life, like in regards to just like having a fun drink every night, like something that I look forward to. Something wellnessy, if you will, is these like prebiotic sodas. I'm this is not sponsored. I freaking wish it was because these are one of my favorite brands, but I'm just obsessed with Dark Pop. You have to put it with a crap ton of ice, okay? Like, it's good if you just drink it out of the can, but the best way to enjoy it is literally fill this bad boy up with ice and then pour it over it. It's like cold, crispy. It tastes literally like Dr. Pepper. It's so good. It has apple cider vinegar in it, which is great for your gut. Um, it does have stevia in it, which helps to sweeten it. It's so good. I love it. This is the final result. This is Sus portion without the tomatoes and onions. And then I just added the tomatoes and onions. I made way too much pasta so i don't know what we're gonna do about that but oh i need to add some cheese actually i forgot i don't even know if i have any okay target haul i got this i'm gonna put blankets in this so we have several blankets and i've needed one of these for a while just like by our couch i didn't get anything super crazy got some dry shampoo why did i get this one oh I should have gotten the brunette one because this one does leave a film over your hair. Dang it. Oh well. Um, I got some Aquaphor, which these are my favorite Aquaphors ever. I just, they're like chapstick. And I keep them in my car. And I also got some mascara. So we shall see. This is, it's brown for chocolate. So I thought that would be fun to try. Oh, and then I also got, this is not from Target, but this is from, I got this from Amazon today. I'm gonna try this tonight. Um, this magnesium, magnesium from Moon Juice. It has L-theanine in it, which is a product that's good for anxiety. And then it also obviously has magnesium, which is good for sleep. So I'm just gonna do like a teaspoon of this in water every night or when you need to chill. So. I'm gonna do this like right after I shower, like get in bed. I think that'll be nice, but I'll update you guys on that. You know, I thought about throwing it away, but then I thought I'll just save it for the next hurricane that comes through. I like never eat mac and cheese ever. No, that's like all you thought you were gonna eat. I didn't know what else to do, honey. Hurricane. <laughs> it's always purple. It is always purple.
You wanna watch an episode of something? I'm gonna have a shower real quick. I'm dirty. Okay. I need to. Then I can perform surgery. Good morning, you guys. Happy Thursday. Just made my coffee. I took this last night that I was talking to you guys about, and I did sleep really good. Um, but I do usually sleep really good. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep taking it and let you guys know. I need to grab my new makeup products before I go do my makeup and get ready for the day. Lunch today is just the leftover pasta that I showed you guys. I just wrapped up my morning patients. It is 11.34. It's raining a little bit. I'm headed to the gym. I usually have students with me, but there is like a a gap essentially because you know people in P school usually go year round and then there's like a a couple of weeks break in between semesters so I think that we're kind of like in that right now so I've been doing everything myself which is fine but usually I have students who like can do the HPI and like a lot of the charting for me which is honestly really nice um, but sometimes if you get like a student who is just like not competent um, it's actually more work than help but um, yeah so it's just been me today which I feel like I'm probably faster by myself than with other people um, but my schedule wasn't too crazy I think I saw maybe like six patients seven patients this morning and then this afternoon I have about the same patient load so um, we'll see how that goes it's a lot of kids a lot of sick visits just because everybody is now back at school everybody is getting sick being reintroduced to those germs again so also, I'm getting ready to go into the gym, but I forgot to tell you guys that I did use the brown mascara that I got from Target yesterday, and I can confirm that it looks exactly the same as black mascara, and um, I wasted my money, and don't do that. <laughs> don't be like me, um, especially if you have black eyelashes. Why would it turn it brown? I don't, what, what was I thinking? I don't know if I was thinking. Also, I don't know if I showed you guys this, but my dog literally broke off half my freaking fingernail yesterday, which is so sad because I've been so proud of my fingernails lately. These are my real nails and they have been my real nails for like six months now, I wanna say. And they've just been like strong and healthy um, and I haven't had to put tips on them or anything like that. And um, he completely broke that off just by running into me. It literally snapped in half. It's, it was quite painful, but. Let's go get this leg day over with. I just got home, immediately runs outside. He's so bad. You guys, I need tips. Keeper, cut it out. You guys, I need tips for controlling my dogs. Don't jump on me, okay? Nope, that was Hoosier, he doesn't jump. He's very good. Well, he does sometimes, but not right now, right? He's the best boy in the world. Yes. As he jumps. Um, I just got... Stop. I'm coming out in a second. Okay? I want a little snack. Can your mom have a snack or not? No, she can't. Mom cannot do anything besides play with the boys, huh? I'm just eating some of these. <laughs> Honey mustard pretzel crisp. This is the final result. This is what the tofu looks like in the pan. I decided to air fry it because it just wasn't working out. Like I put cornstarch on it and then I had to fry it, but it wasn't getting crispy. So I just put it in the air fryer, which my air fryer never betrays me. So highly recommend. And I'm just going to sit on the couch, watch an episode of Suits, Unwind. Yeah, take some deep breaths. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I just add to my list of things, like I'm constantly doing stuff and um, something that has been helping me in the evening is like putting away my phone, but I haven't been good at that this evening and I can automatically tell that that's what's increasing my anxiety, which is crazy. Um, it's actually not that crazy, but like I've had my, I uploaded a TikTok and it's been doing really well, so I've been on TikTok like responding to comments, and I just need to like put it away. Like, if it does well, if it does bad, I don't need to be like so invested in it. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. 
Oh, you know what I wanted to tell you guys? I never <laughs> watch TV without having like my phone in hand and I feel like I'm like simultaneously on my phone and then watching TV. But because I've been putting my phone down away and like on my charger at like 9, 9.30 and not touching it until I go to bed. Last night, I literally watched a full episode of a show like and did not touch my phone. And it was so nice. And like I was in the present moment. I was drinking that magnesium drink that I told you guys about. And it's like these things that I'm doing right now are, I think, <laughs> sounds really dramatic, but I think they're going to change my life. I am making my evening drink again. Seth just got home a little while ago, so we were sitting down and chatting. Um, if any of you guys are teachers out there, I doubt any of you are, since my page is like all about nursing and stuff, but I just wanted to say that I'm thinking of you in back to school season because my husband is a teacher and um, I have a lot of teacher friends and I think that it is probably the most respectable career you guys put in so much time and so much effort that goes so unnoticed and um we as a society did not do not deserve you all um you guys do so much for so little pay and deserve so much more so anyway i just had to say that um i am gonna drink my magnesium drink in peace this is actually pretty good like i it doesn't taste amazing it doesn't really taste like much to be like it tastes a slightly berry berry-ish but it's it's in a little bit sweet but not super sweet um but i've had like i don't think it's bad and i don't necessarily think that but it's not like oh my god mm, this tastes good type of thing but it's it's good i don't know if that makes sense and of course, I'm gonna watch another episode of Suits. It's like 9.20, so I have one more episode of Suits in me, and then I'm gonna read and go to bed. The morning coffee made. This is like the cutest cup from Anthropology. I love it. It's very summery, but I guess it technically is summer. Okay, you guys, today was just a massive shit show at work, like honestly, to be completely honest, but we hired cleaners. And I came home to my house being so clean. I just have to show you guys. Um, I don't know if it's going to seem we have messed it up a little bit since being home because it's like 7.30 now and we're getting ready to go to um, Bar Taco for dinner tonight. But they like clean everything, scrubbed here. Like, oh, I need to put that away because they like did our dishes, which was so nice put like our shoes here our living room looks super nice i need to put away my clothes from there and then they did i don't think you guys have really ever quite seen like the full house but we have um two rooms here this is my office that I, or our office that also doubles as like a guest room and honestly as everybody else's it just kind of becomes like this junk space so i was like if you could just pick up everything off of the floor and uh vacuum it that'd be great which they did and so now i feel like i can just go through here and pick up stuff and it'll be less of a task for me and then they cleaned our guest bathroom which I am in my towel because <laughs> I just showered and they like really scrubbed everything so nice I'm so incredibly thankful we needed this so bad and then this is just our other guest bedroom which you guys have seen kind of a mess so they just vacuumed in here and then I think the biggest thing that they did honestly is our bathroom looks amazing like our bathroom is probably one of the places that we spend I would say like 40% of our time in the bathroom just because like we're getting ready getting ready getting ready for work getting ready for bed you know you're just like in there all the time and I hate cleaning my bathroom and the water in Florida is very different from the water where I used to live so like it's harder and it can turn like the toilet different colors etc but Seth was just wrapping up some work there I think they missed that mirror I will say that I wish they would wipe down that mirror, but I can do that. We're getting a new couch. You guys already know about that whole saga. I need to update you guys about it, but um, this is our bedroom that they cleaned. 
Seth has a suitcase right there that he needs to take out, but they like cleaned the um, the windows, they dusted the blinds, we sleep with a fan, like we have to sleep with noise, but you guys, I need to like declutter the bathroom, but, and I just showered, but my shower was really dirty to be completely honest, and they did such an amazing job cleaning it. It looks so amazing. I will never not have cleaners again in my life if I can afford it because it was just so nice to come home from a really rough day. Like today was so rough. I, It was just like a patient was like screaming at me that I had literally seen once and like it was just a lot. And then it was just like people wanting second opinions for like diagnoses that I'm like, these are not diagnoses that you need second opinions for, wanting referrals, all this stuff, whatever. Um, it was just a hard day. <laughs> And to come home to a clean house was the best Friday thing. I'm like having a lot of anxiety from the, from the day, but we're going to go to Bar Taco with my brother and sister-in-law, have like a nice evening, eat tacos, obviously, and relax because it is finally the weekend.